In this lesson, we are going to translate a polygon, positive 3 in the x direction and negative 4 in the y direction. Whenever moving an object in the x direction, it simply means moving it to the left, which would be a negative movement, or to the right, which would be a positive movement. Because it is positive 3 in this case, we are going to be moving our polygon to the right. And in the y direction, this always means to move it either up or down. A negative number means we have to move our object down. A positive number means we have to move it up in the y direction. In this case, we are going to move our polygon three units to the right and four units down. To accomplish this, there are a couple ways of doing this. You could take each point and simply count three over to the right and four over down and then label your new point. Or you can just write the coordinates of your original points and then for the x value, you can just add 3 to each of the x values to see where your point is going to end up. And for all of the y values, you can simply subtract 4 from each of them to figure out where your y coordinates are going to be. Now we are going to double check our work like a good math student does. When you work with translations, all you have to do is add the movement of the x direction to your original x location and the sum should equal what the new x location is. For example, for point A, the x value was negative 8. If we were to add positive 3 to negative 8, it does make negative 5, and that's exactly where our new A point is located. For point B, we started at negative 4, and negative 4 plus 3 does make negative 1. For point C, we were at negative 5, and moving over 3 to the right, we would indeed end up at negative 2 on our x-axis. And for point D, we started at negative 7, and negative 7 plus 3 does make negative 4. Now to check the y values. A was originally located at positive 1 on the y-axis. If we subtract 4 from positive 1, we would indeed end up on negative 3. For the B point, we were at positive 2. Positive 2 minus 4 does make negative 2. For point C, we were at positive 4, and of course, 4 take away 4 makes 0. And the same thing for point D. We were at positive 4, and 4 minus 4 is also 0. So anytime you are performing a translation, you can simply take the movement in the x direction and add that number to all of the original x values to get your new x values. For any movement in the y direction, you simply add that number to all of the original y values to get your new y values, and that will give you the new coordinates of your translated object.